Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is for you. I'm Cyclone. It's time for more Let's Play Train Simulator or Train Sim Classic, whatever you want to call it. I noticed they are still calling it Train Simulator Classic, so uh, we'll go with it. Anyway, we're going to do part number four today, scenario number four of this series of scenarios on the Bonds Trek. You may remember last week we visited these three scenarios, and they were nice, fun scenarios. So now we're going to go ahead and check out some of what I call the metro area. And how are we going to do that? We're going to start about halfway along the route at Warzone. We're going to drive our way to Leipzig in a different direction. So this is a bit of a, um, I don't want to say high speed because it really isn't, but we are going to be driving the same kind of train. It's going to be the Talent 1442 instead of the 442. So you may remember the uh, red one was up here. Uh, and now we have our nice, lovely silver sheen here. So we're going to drive the silver one, the new one, uh, in this uh, on this route. And we're going to uh, see how this one behaves. Probably about exactly the same. So uh, let's get to work on a slightly longer scenario. This is longer, apparently, than the uh, one on uh, the Leipzig to Reisa, as this would have been, so the Leipzig to Reisa. So this is a bit longer, and I think the circle does take longer to go around than the path between Wursa and, uh, or Reisa and Wurzen. So um, yeah, this should be a longer scenario, and let's see how this uh, works. This is listed as the third longest scenario, if you count number eight here. It's listed as the third longest scenario, so let's see uh, what this scenario has to throw at us. Let's get busy, shall we? Okay, I already found my first thing I don't like here. What's with these white boxes? They're not consistent. This is not consistent. Uh, good morning, driver. Please stop the train and show pass or allow passengers to board here at Warzone. The weather is a bit cold this morning, so it is imperative we get our passengers to their destination safely and on time. The maximum speed for our train is 160 kilometers per hour. Now that is something I like to see information on how fast you're allowed to go. So if you have a 200 anywhere, you are not allowed apparently to go that. Uh, interesting. Anyway, let's get ourselves loaded and going here. Doors have been opened. I'm gonna turn all the stuff on. Actually, did I, do I have instrument lights? Yes, I do. I have headlights, I have wipers. Why is it always raining in these scenarios? I, eh, I don't get it. I remember to put the reverser up this time, so we are good. We are good. So we're starting at Wurzen, and as I said, we're going to have a bit of a weird timetable today. We're going to go to Benowitz. I don't know if we were there last time. Uh, Altenbach is also new. McKern. Gerishain. Borsdorf. No, we, have, we did see Borsdorf, so we skipped all those stations last time. And we're going to proceed to Leipzig Engeldorf. And then we got all the weird, the, uh, I don't know why I say weird, but all the interesting stations over on the uh, loop. So it starts with uh, Anger Krotendorf, and then it continues all the way around to Leipzig HBF, but coming in platform two from a different direction. So, hello. Goodbye. So we have a red signal, it just turned green. So uh, that's what we were waiting for, apparently. Now that it's gone by, we're safe to go as soon as we're allowed to. Our arrival times for the first few stations, we're not gonna cover them all right now, but for the first five, 746 we have to be done by here, which we leave at 748. We have 751, 753, a minute for leaving, 754, seven. We have to be at uh, Garish Chain by eight o'clock even. Without all these stops, it wouldn't be a problem, but we have to stop at all these places. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's take a quick look at our train. Second complaint, the game freezes on these alerts. Am I the only one who doesn't like this? Uh, anyway, I guess we're going to have this 15 times. I probably should have redone this scenario before I actually started playing it, but you're going to need to see how uh, these uh, operate. Next stop is Benowitz. Apparently it's important enough to freeze the game to tell us what our next stop is. I don't think so. So we're leaving a speed limit of 50, well it's going to be 60, but 50 uh, kilometers per hour. Uh, 60 is not in effect yet. We're still under the 50, but now the 60 has taken effect, so up we go. There we are. We're 
minus 60, we're going to close. Oh, never mind. We can go to 100 now. Actually, I'm going to pump that power up a bit more because we want to get up there. Never mind. We're not going to get up there that quickly. Bedowitz is right there. Our stop time is 7.51. Not going to get up to 100, so we're going to stop. We're going to coast. You see, the stops are all close to each other here. We're stopping at all stations, that looks like. And minimum break is apparently doing too much to slow me down, so we're going to go ahead and watch that. a little too trepidatious on this first stop with a shiny new silver train here being way too trepidatious anyway we're gonna go ahead and break a little more now yeah I'm I'm uh, using those brakes way too diligently here and anyway, we can go ahead and we can stop now so we're gonna do that Let's go ahead and stop. We're going to be right on time. So we're going to close, or sorry, we're going to open the doors at our first stop at Benowitz Platform 2. So in case you walked away and grabbed a tea while you were uh, stopped, uh, next stop is Altenbach. Altenbach is our next stop. And you get you get to uh, finish your tea and come back. That's basically how it works. I may have noticed the speed limit is showing us 200 kilometers per hour. A, we're not going to reach that anyway, because Altenbach is just way too close. And B, we're limited to 160. What gives? Our arrival time is Alton at Altenbach, excuse me, is supposed to be 7.53.20. We'll see about that. Once again, I might have started applying that brake a little early. I'm being a little bit too trepidatious with this train. I'm not doing myself any favors for being on time on this scenario, guys. I really am not. I thought I turned my headlights on, didn't I? Oh, they were on. Okay, I just can't tell. Not very easily anyway. Okay, break time. We're gonna be late here. Come on, let's open the doors. All right, arrival at Altenbach, platform two. Next stop is Machern, and uh, I noticed that, or does it say Machem or Machern? It looks like it says Machem. That is not correctly spelled. Uh, unless I, the RN and the M are very difficult to tell apart in this font. 
Uh, and the first time I saw this, I think it did say Machem. I think it still says Machem. It's supposed to be Machern, E-R-N, not E-M. So this is a um, typo, and uh, yeah, I'm surprised this was not fixed before final release because it looks sloppy. In any case, uh, on we go. So we're now going to our third stop on our journey. We are going, as I said, to Machern with an E-R-N on the end. And we have two minutes to get there. And apparently our speed limit is 200 even though we're supposed to be limited to 160. Fantastic. Train coming along. I got it up just in time. It's a chemical service. Now two kilometers out from the churn. So we're just gonna do a minimal brake application. It won't take off too much brakes, I can still come in pretty fast. I will be increasing the brake power as I get closer to the station. I don't see any signal speed limits to worry about on this uh, section because again, there's no signals here. Coming in a little too slow now, so we're gonna modify that. Should be able to fully come to a stop now. I have amped up those brakes. I'm going to actually reduce them because I'm coming in too slowly at this point. I need to coast for a moment. And now we're going to put those brakes back on. It's always easy to keep going. It's hard to reverse. Anyway, stopping at Maturin Platform 2. Next stop, Garish Shane. We have to be there by 8 o'clock. I remember that one because we reviewed that one. So we have a little less than 3 kilometers to go here. Let's get ourselves up to speed quickly. In order to cover this distance in the most optimal amount of time, we have to get up to speed quickly on this one because uh, three min two minutes to go three kilometers is not plenty. So we need to get some uh, power behind our train here to get ourselves propelled where we need to be quickly. than two kilometers to go there looks like there's a signal before the station i don't know if there's any kind of signal imposed limit and it concerns me if there is i see no warning the 
can get to that service in time. Yeah, it looks like we're good on this signal. No problem for uh, speeds here. Brakes uh, stronger very quickly here because I came in a lot faster than I should have. This is going to be an overshoot, guys. No two ways about it. Actually, you know what? We are going to stay on the platform. Wow, that was actually really good braking on this train. Well, now we know there's really good braking on this train, guys. Just after 8 o'clock, we're arriving at Garrison Shane, platform 2. Back in the cab, let's review the next part of our timetable here, at least the next 10 minutes or so. We're at Garrison right now. We're going to go next to Borsdorf, three and a half kilometers away. We're going to continue to Leipzig Engelsdorf. And by, actually, it's a little longer. This is a long stretch here. By 8.16, we're going to be at Leipzig Anger Protendorf, platform one. And uh, I'll try to get rid of the uh, tab, but it didn't let me. So we're going to uh, have our game stopped. I'm going to not be able to get rid of the tab until I get rid of this box. Plus, I have to scramble for the mouse now, so uh, let's uh, just go to Borsdorf. So you can see Borstorf coming up. We are still, by the way, at an apparent 200 kilometers per hour speed limit, but we never have a chance to get up there. So, um, yeah, no wonder the limit us to 160. We, we can't even get to 200. I have a full two minutes to get to the station from where we are now, which means plenty of time. Uh, but I see a flashing green at an 8. That is not good for us in terms of uh, our progression to get where we need to go quickly. We need to get our speed down at this point. We should still be there in plenty of time. It's just a bit annoying having to go a bit slower when you know you can go faster. are very effective. Gotta remember that, huh? Alright, we are down to 80. So says the boss. I think it's for the junction, not for the... It should be for the signal, but it's uh, apparently only for the junction. So we're going to take the junction at 80. Again, I think that's this bug with how the scripting on the signals works. I think you are supposed to be down to 80 by the time you cross a signal, because that's what those boards mean. You have to cross it by the next signal. Uh, we didn't do, we did that, and now we're going to be punished for being on, doing the proper signal thing, apparently. I'm trying to cruise along close to 80 for as far as I can here, because we know we have to slow down at the station. Now's a good time to slow down. We know the odds of overshooting are not very high, but we're certainly giving ourselves more chance to do it. I may have succeeded with that. Nope, we're gonna be on we're gonna be on the platform. Look at this, guys. Look at this, we're gonna be on the platform. I love it. Good breaks. Arrival at Borsdorf, platform one.
Oh, quiet. So we are leaving Borstorf Platform 1. As you notice, we are going to Leipzig Engelsdorf Platform 2. We're crossing a 6 on the signal, which means our 80 is turning into a 60. So we're leaving a speed limit of 60 kilometers per hour from uh, Borstorf. Because we're not on the main track, that's why. We're not on the main track. I still keep thinking the headlights are not on, but they are definitely on. So we're probably going to be leaving the track after Engelsdorf, and that's uh, because we're going to be taking the uh, circle track to the south of the uh, Leipzig area, or surrounding the Leipzig area, I should say. Very, very dark skies here today. This is kind of foreboding. It's only 8.07 in the morning. What's going on? 100 is now our speed limit. Up we go. We've got a long, long way to go to the station. This is actually not, not going to be easy, guys. Oh, look, 200s are limit again. Fantastic. <laughs> so much for being officially limited to 160 on this run. slow down now I'm not doing myself any favors by not giving myself maximum power at a couple spots here but it shouldn't be that big of a difference I mean, it shouldn't be but it could be oh I need a break big breaks big breaks There's an 80 coming up at the next signal, but it's after the station, thankfully. And I am coming in a little too hot here. So, yeah, we need to get those brakes on and coming down quickly. Ease them off for a moment so I can put more power on the brakes in the platform. Here we go. Now yeah, we're good. We're good. Lots of room. This is an eight car platform. We only have five. We're good. And doors are open at Leipzig Engelsdorf platform two. Next stop is Leipzig Inger Krottendorf. A note, by the way, anytime you have a save game that starts at, at Leipzig Engeldorf, which we're leaving now, you're going to have a red signal on the other side of it for some strange reason. I don't know why these signals don't work properly, but they don't. So um, keep that in mind as you, anytime you leave Leipzig Engelsdorf from a save game, or even from a new game if you end up restarting the game. So in those cases, you can just hit the tab key and you will pass those signals. Or you'll be able to, you won't do it automatically. As you see, I, despite our cushy 200 here, I'm limiting my speed to 80 because the signal is going to impose an 80 limit. You can see the flashing green up ahead. 
you can see the six that's going to affect us at the next signal. Now it's not the signal you see pictured. Not only enough, the eight doesn't even take effect of the signal. But uh, the six doesn't take place at the next marked signal on the HUD, which is actually why those W signs. 100 is now apparently our limit, interesting, not interestingly, not 80. Okay, there's the 80. So the 60 does not apply from here, it applies at the next signal. So if you slow down to the 60 for that signal, you're not doing yourself any favors in accordance to your timing. And we're on a bit of an uphill here. This is a bit of a uh, fussy section here for speed. The nice thing is the uphill is going to slow you down nicely for the 60 up ahead. And then you're going to have a downhill, so you're going to have to slow down anyway. That's a 16 downhill grading that will try and push you into a speeding penalty here, if you're not careful. And now we're just fine. But we still have a little ways to go. We still have a three minutes of journey time, apparently, over about 2.2 and a quarter kilometers. So if you can maintain exactly 60 all the way, you're in good shape. If you can't, you're going to lose a small amount of time because we're at the point now where speeds, where differences in speed will affect you. It's not like 160 and 158 being minimal. 60 and 58 is much, much bigger difference. So we're now taking the S-Bahn. Sixty remains our limit, regardless of what the track is rated for. We're told we can only go sixty. Got less than three quarters of a kilometer to go, so we're actually doing really well for this stop. Better than I expected. As you can see, sixty remains our limit. Now don't be tempted to slow down early. Just because you're getting close to the station, you don't have to slow down early. You can go from 55 to stop here, no problem. So now we're gonna start slowing down. Now the only problem with this stop is that we're on a bit of a downhill. So the brakes are gonna ease themselves off to uh, gradually uh, to slow down at a much slower pace than they did at previous stations. So you're pretty much gonna be crawling along until you're allowed to actually stop. Not cool, <laughs> not cool. But we are on time, we have arrived at Leipzig Anger Krotendorf, platform one. So our next stop is going to be Leipzig Stoddard. That's going to be the terminus of our next setup, our next uh, service, I should say, not setup. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, one thing I need to point out when we get to Leipzig Stoddard is the departure time when we actually get there. Let's get our speed up very quickly to some semblance of fast.
So in this case, we have a good, uh, nearly a full kilometer to go here. Let's bring up the uh, information very quickly to show you. We had to stay, we have to be there at 818, or, yeah, 818, which is not a problem, but we're not gonna be allowed to leave until 820. We have to be at the next stop after that at 820. It's gonna be interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Frankly, interesting is not the word I would use, but I used it. So we have to be at the stop now. So we had to wait for a minute and a half at the previous station. We basically have to rush in and be almost late here. So this is a case where the timings set up by the scenario just are not cool. They are not cool. So I have to come to a stop as quick as I can now. We're having some bumps coming in here. There's a service right there, by the way. That's the service we take in the next scenario. Different time. Uh, this is a bumpy track. I do not know why this is a bumpy track. But let's get this train stopped as quick as we can. I couldn't get to the end of the platform because I didn't have enough time. So arrival at Leipzig Staritz. Get ready to NASCAR, guys. Start your engines. Uh, next stop, Leipzig Volker Schlock Denkmal. It's going to take me about five years to say that, so let's just move on. Now, I was actually allowed to leave a little early. I'm surprised by this. I didn't think we were going to be allowed to leave early. So somehow uh, I got extra time that I normally would not get here. I don't think you're scripted to do this. I'm not going to complain. On my previous run at this, I actually wasn't allowed to leave until 8.20. So, uh, yeah. I'll take the extra time because it means uh, we're going to be on time. So, if you get an unfavorable exit time, just reload the scenario from, about a, couple sta from couple, about a couple stations back. And you should be able to get a good time eventually. I did. So, I can actually come in a little slower than intended. And try to um, pinpoint the landing here, which I did not get to do on my previous attempt. I never expected I would overshoot this station, but I just did. I never expected I would have an opportunity to overshoot this station. So I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I can do that. Why not? A little bit of an overshoot, but we're going to make our stop. So a couple cars don't get to let off pastures. That has never happened to me at the station. Anyway, arrival at Leipzig, V Kamal, I'll call it. We're leaving on time for this one. Next stop is Leipzig MDR. What is Leipzig MDR? Well, let's get ourselves going. We'll take a look. Uh, Leipzig MDR is basically Leipzig MDR. There you go. We're going to be going then to Bayer Schlecker Bondorf. Uh, we're going to be going to Wilhelm Luschester. Luschner, sorry. Wil Wilhelm Luschner Platz is what I should say. And then Marked and then HPF. Travel time of 8.24 at our next stop. We have uh, 80 as our speed limit, as you can see. So we should cover that in uh, an adequate amount of time. I don't know if I want to say plenty of time, but an adequate amount of time. We're going to have a little bit of a downhill here, so watch your speed as we hit this downhill. And don't just watch. Do something about it if you have to. I mean, if you have to slow down, you have to slow down, right?
So far, I have not had a slowdown, which is good. Eight, so we're still going 80. So you think the 80 is now in effect, but it's always been in effect since the last station, so no change. I'm slightly under 80, so this may uh, hurt me. A random 80 board just suddenly appeared on the route in front of us. Which is helpful because now we're allowed 120 apparently. And interestingly. Okay, major, major brake power now. Technically we are late because we weren't allowed to leave until 8.22, but what can you do? Take that off for a second because I need to get into the platform. And actually, I should coast just a little bit more, shouldn't I? Ah, uh, not liking. I hard decision here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and break here. Good screenshots from the stairs this way. Arrival at Leipzig MDR. Our next stop, Leipzig, Bayerischer, Bahndorf, Bahnhof. Sorry, let's try that again. Okay, our next stop is going to be Leipzig, Bayerischer, Bahnhof. Close enough. Uh, we're going to go. So 80, of course, is our limit, as you would expect. And uh, we're not going to go beyond that. We're actually going to have to come to a stop very shortly. All four stations in, our, in the last part of our journey are all visible right here. Look at that, guys. That's the rest of our journey right there. Quite a heavy downhill gradient trying to push you into speeding. We're also in tunnels now. We're now officially underground. And I did not give myself enough time for the stop, I don't think. Oh, we are just barely staying on the platform. Good job. Okay. Arrival at Leipzig Bayerischer Bahnhof Platform 2. Now to Leipzig Wilhelm Löscher Platz. Löschner Platz, sorry. So we are going underground again. We are still limited to 80 kilometers per hour, and we will be for the rest of this journey. We'll be lucky to even reach 80 on any of these stretches, to be honest with you. So in other words, I'm very lucky right now. Good enough. Um... Well, this looks interesting, guys. The way is blocked. <laughs> Let's have our passengers out, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Arrival at Wilhelm Leuschner Platz, 
whatever platform we're on, probably platform two. So back to the cloud, let's just talk about this quickly. Let's go to the front, let's just poke ahead here and take a quick look. You can see that we have a rock wall here. Let's go to the back of the train. You can see we have a rock wall there as well. So uh, we came through it. As you can imagine, we're gonna go into the other one. But what's interesting, despite that, is on the other side, they're also blocked. This is the only one that's not blocked. The rest have a graphical glitch on them. In any case, we're gonna get back in the cab and we're gonna go to apparently a small L Leipzig marked. So off we go. Into the Great Abyss. I don't think we need this anymore, do we? Let's try to turn the wipers off, see how that works for us. We're underground, we shouldn't need them now. We need to arrive by 8.30. It's 8.29, almost 8.30. Not going to go to 80 on this one. not quite stop oh we are barely stopping on time on this one look at this arrival at Leipzig marked platform 2 Now on to our final stop, Leipzig HBF Tief, which I believe stands for lower. I've been told, I actually asked about that. I'm told that stands for lower, which means we're going into the two underground platforms. Let's get to our final stop. Now for anyone who might be asking, Cyclone, this is underground. Do they do anything to model the areas over top? They actually do. If you go, when you go to each stop, you can actually poke out, you can actually see what the area looks like above. They did model each of the stations, so you are able to actually um, head up. And even in between the stations, you can look at the scenery between the stations as well. The problem is you don't know where the tracks are or where the stations are there, so you're gonna have a hard time locating what you're going to here. You can see the termini or the terminus on the plot on the route up ahead. Obviously in real life that line would continue. But for our purposes, our line ends here. I wish they did continue the circle at least uh, and possibly give us a few more stations. But this service is long enough. I guess I can't really complain about it. This service is long enough. So we're going to be marking a few seconds late here, but that's okay. We have arrived at uh, Leipzig HBF platform number two. We're underground. And uh, let's take another quick look at our train before we finish. That probably goes down as the longest uh, service in terms of number of stops that we're going to have on this uh, DLC. I don't know about the um, about the scenarios on the first half of the route yet, only the first half of the route. But given we started halfway into the main line on this route for this journey, 15 stops is quite a number of stops. So there was a lot of work modeling stations on this uh, particular DLC. Hats off to DGG for doing that. Um, I kind, of, I kind of feel selfish asking for the entire reading to, Gap, to Waterloo line, the Waterloo to reading line, uh, close to the London area, but hey, maybe we'll get that someday too. That was um, one of my big requests and one of the ones I did most research on. So, But that's not in the UK. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, we're going to get some grob as the uh, hamburger sign shows over on the right. We're going to get some grob. This stream has been sponsored by grob. Make sure you like the video, by the way. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, you'll see more videos like this. For example, next time we're going to take that other service that you saw at Stout Earth. We're going to take that service next time. 
So that's what we're going to see next time. This is a long ending. I am trying to fill time now, as you can see, with witty commentary. And it's hard to find witty commentary when you run out of material. So, um, yeah, let's uh, turn the... Well, actually, I'm going to leave the lights on because this is not a terminus. This, actually, this service will continue without us. We just don't uh, get to watch it take off or anything. Hello. Mmm, grub. Mmm. Cheese. Beef. I'm hungry. Is that for lunch yet? That woman on the right is just constantly looking at her watch. She is really, really concerned about getting somewhere on time, it looks like today. There we go. Now, this is not how I expect these scenarios to end either. I expect just a pop-up box saying the final bits, but this one gets the pop-up box like this, pausing the game to finish the scenario, and then you get a scenario complete box. You're going to see in a second. Anyway, well done. You have completed the scenario successfully. Go grab a hot drink or some grub and warm up before your next drive. Warm up? Am I cold? I don't know. Anyway, here comes the scenario complete box, which they could have just used for this last text, but no. Oh, final destination reached. Close enough. Uh, so, yeah. I'll see you at the score screen. Um, that's interesting. Um, DTG, why am I scoring zero? Why am I scoring... I'm not able to get a star for this scenario, guys. Uh, th this, I'm going to say, is a bug. I don't think this is supposed to be happening, and I think this needs to be uh, addressed uh, because there are going to be people this week are not able to get their stars on this scenario who are going to be like, why am I not getting my star? I should get my 1,000 points. Uh, fortunately, I don't care, uh, but there are going to be people who do care about that, and it's really, really baffling. I don't know why that's happening. I'm not allowed to get a star on this, apparently. So, uh, And if we go to the menu, we're going to probably find the same thing. Let's go to the menu. So as you can see, we're on the menu. We still haven't completed it. We don't have any friend rankings. No one. Now, some people are actually able to get a global and top score. I don't know how they're able to do this. How did you guys get a score and I couldn't? Why was I not able to get a score? Like, that doesn't make sense. This does not make sense to me. I don't understand. I just do not understand. So, as you can see, I managed to figure out a way to get a score, but it's actually not easy to do. You're going to have to, it's easy for me, you have to know a bit about how the file structures work inside of the Railworks folder. You have to be able to copy files to certain places. You have to be able to make certain modifications uh, to certain files. And uh, it would be a lot harder for me to explain than to just provide a file, which I'm not going to do because it would not be providing a file that would be accurate to the experience. So. I'm going to tell you that I've tried several things. I obviously ran what you saw here. It didn't work. I took a copy of another scenario, put it, the one that I know works, put it in place. It gave me the score. That's why I have a star that you, have, that you see there. I, I just, just did a bl bl uh, quick run, didn't try and do anything fancy. Unfortunately, it docked me for speeding at one point, but easy to fix. It's only a 15 minute scenario. The one below it basically is the one I put in there. And, um, I got 997. I can get 1,000 easily on that if I really want to. Not a big deal. Um, so then I went ahead and I cloned this scenario. I put the clone over this one, and that didn't work with the save game. I then cloned it again, but this time I went into the editor and tried playing around with some things to force a save, and therefore try to get it to regenerate as a new entry and try to make it uh, do what it was supposed to. It didn't work. It still didn't work. So the... Um, I went ahead and did a brand new run on that clone version, and uh, unfortunately, that also didn't work. In fact, that's the copy you see here right now. So this shows up as edit on the end of it. That's exactly what I've done. This is the edited version of the scenario in here right now. That did not do anything to get me the star. That did nothing. Uh, what I literally did was I copied this, replaced it this with this, and um, I ran this in place of this, got the star, and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you this in its proper spot on video. So I'm very familiar with this scenario by now. So make sure you follow the channel. Make sure you like subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video if you like what I'm trying to do to make this work for you here. 
Uh, and I will definitely see you next time for uh, more here on Let's Play Train Simulator. Next time we are going to play Stereo Number 5. This one is not edited. This one should work. And uh, as you can see, if I go back to Stereo 4, you're going to see that now I'm on the list of three people. Whereas over here, uh, there are still hundreds and of people who could possibly have this done by now. So I'm going to be doing one that I know works next time because it basically made this one work. So um, yeah, the problem is not server. The problem is scenario. I don't know if DG can fix it. We're going to try to figure out how to fix that. Uh, but in the meantime, have a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever you speak, you're part of the world. If you do stay with me, uh, the next scenario, number five, right here, will begin in three, two, one.